Hello guys, this is Dreven from DJ Integrity. Today we are going to see some interesting tech news in episode 180. From November 1st, 43 smartphone models with the Android 4 or earlier and iOS 9 or earlier will stop being able to access WhatsApp. WhatsApp has added new feature this year including disappearing messages, joinable group calls and stickers and claims it is phasing out support for older phones to ensure the app still runs securely. Please check out the screen for the phone models that will lose WhatsApp access from the November 1st. Facebook is found to allow users to apply any of their favorite emojis as message reactions. The new development appeared just days after WhatsApp was spotted adding message reactions to its platform that would work similar to how you can react on messages getting on iMessage, Twitter and even Facebook on Messenger app. India has revised its proposed $8 billion that is roughly around 58,400 crore rupees scheme for the auto sector which will now focus on incentivizing companies to build electrical hydrogen fuel powered vehicles. This is a significant shift from the government's original plan to incentivize auto and auto parts makers to build mainly gasoline vehicles and their components for domestic sale and export with some added benefits for the electric vehicles. The move is to clean technologies comes as Tesla is gearing up to enter India and is lobbying for for lower import duties on electric cars. While the government is considering this request, it wants some economic benefit in return which could include a commitment from Tesla to produce cars locally. Northway Motorsport has launched a Bharti electric vehicle EV kit that can convert a regular car into an electric car. This kit comes in two models, one that is made for personal use named Drive EZ and a commercial one called as Travel EZ. Northway Motorsport kit can only convert a Maruti shift desire into an electric car at this moment. This electric vehicle kit only works on the shift desire that launched in the market in 2017 and onwards. The price of the EV kit is said to be between Rs 5 and 6 lakhs. The Drive EZ kit will be available in the market for now while the travel is that will be available soon. In the last few months, a many incident of phone explosion has come to the fore. The victim has shared pictures of the blast phone on Twitter which can scare anyone. A Twitter user posted a post from his Twitter account today in which he has informed about its Poco X3 smartphone has been blasted. In the tweet, he also told that he had bought this phone only two months ago which exploded like a bomb during charging today. In a tweet, he mentioned that he said it is a strict tone to the company that my phone should be replaced. Otherwise, he mentioned that he will be filing a complaint against the company. The pictures shared with the tweet are clearly telling how dangerous the incident was. Along with the other products, Realme is all set to launch a new range of powerful and portable speakers in India. The Realme Pocket Bluetooth speaker and the Realme Cobble Bluetooth speaker will arrive on September 9th at 12.30 pm. Geofiber has introduced 3 month postpaid plan for its fiber service. Now customers do not need to choose longer 6 or 8 month plan. The newly announced plan is also reflecting on the telecom operator's website. With the new postpaid plan options, Geo aims to attract more customers to its broadband network. The benefits are quite similar to the previous advanced rental plans including zero upfront cost and more. Samsung started offering optical image stabilization on the main camera of few of its mid-range Galaxy A series devices such as A52 and A72. Next year, however, the things will be different. Samsung is likely to add OIS to the main camera of all the A series model and it is going to launch in 2022. Battlefield 2042 and now even the mobile gamers can join in on the festives. This game is still a ways away from the launch but the players can pre-register for it on the Google Play Store in selected regions. EA will be hosting a closed beta testing in Indonesia and the Philippines this fall. Starlink has a potential to deliver high-speed broadband internet service to remote locations. With a name to deliver service internationally, Starlink is now operational as a beta for the early birds and it is continuously expanding. SpaceX CEO Elon Musk has claimed that Starlink satellite internet service will have the capability of data transfer as high speed as speed of flight. SpaceX plans to deploy laser-equipped satellites into orbit that will play a major role in eliminating the reliance on ground stations. Qualcomm Snapdragon 898 chipset appears on Geekbench with underwhelming scores. This chipset is powering a mysterious Vivo device. Snapdragon 898 is expected to power flagship Android phones in 2022. This chipset scored 720 points in single core and 1919 in multi core test. But these scores are lower than the Snapdragon AAA achieved on Geekbench. 
Lenovo has launched a new IdeaPad laptop. It is offered in two display sizes as well as Intel and AMD configuration. This laptop features an Amazon Alexa voice assistant. The China company is also offering IdeaPad Slim 5 and Slim 5i, the latest offering packs flagship specifications. The Lenovo IdeaPad Slim 5 Pro carries a starting price tag of rupees 77,990. It is offered in strong grey color option and can be purchased from lenovo.com and leading online and offline channels across the country. Please check out the screen to know more specifications of these laptops. Xiaomi has a launch event scheduled for September 15th and one of the product is expected to be announced at the global event is Mi Pad 5. While there is still no confirmation about the tablet will be unveiled on that day and we can confirm that the new tablet will indeed get a global release. There is a video uploaded on Instagram by a Belarusian store. This store has also put up a post on the social media platform that says that Mi Pad 5 is now available for pre-order. This store has put a price tag of Belarusian ruble of 1199 that is around 479 US dollars. on this tablet and this get you with the variant of 6 GB of RAM and a 128 GB of storage thanks for watching this video please kindly support my channel by giving a like share and subscribe and follow digi integrity on twitter instagram and facebook